Hey, welcome back to our Super Mario Bros. X level editor tutorial. This time we'll be covering cutscenes. And yes, I am using the ASMBXT dev kit editor thingy instead of the regular Super Mario Bros. X editor. Although everything that I do here should be exactly the same for the other editor, except that, you know, if you're using the other editor, you'll be seeing Mario here instead of demo. By the way, I'll put a link to this project in the description. Um, so anyways, yes, how did I make this? Well, all I did was design a room and then um, use some custom graphics. I, you know, I just, I drew these and like, um, well, drew might be a bit exaggerated. All I did was copy and paste a bunch of stuff and then tack on some text. And I also used the, um, I also used um, the width and a height flags to in a text file to change the width and height of these so that, you know they would be like this and then and then yeah that's all I did as far as these I mean if if I was making like an actual cutscene I probably would have like drew the letters pixel by pixel so that I could customize them more and make them look a bit more natural because, I don't know, in my opinion, this text doesn't look all that natural, but, you know, whatever. I'm not, I, this'll do, okay? Okay, just hush. And, and also, when Demo was walking to the right, I was not holding any buttons on my keyboard at all. She was doing that automatically. How, how did I make that happen? Well, I just went to View, Events, and then under Player Controls, I just checked right. So, Basically, if you check any of these, then um, the player will just by default um, have that happen at the beginning of the level. And no matter what the player presses, it, uh, your character will just continue to do that. So, for example, if I check up, then demo will just start and just be looking up the whole time. And no matter what buttons I press, she'll just keep on looking up and stuff. And the same goes for these other ones. Like, I could check right. Um, oh, also, um, a lot of these are not compatible with each other. So I just thought I'd point that out. But if I check, for example, right and then run, then the player will start running. And then all this will go by a lot faster. But I don't want that to happen because then you have to read really fast in order to, you know, read these. And so I just, I just have right checked. Now, another thing you could do is just um, under warps and doors just put an instant warp like say maybe right here um, and then you know so when demo comes walking she'll just hit this and then be and then you could set the exit part to the level itself if you're putting this on the beginning of a level or something I guess if you wanted to what you could do is open up the regular um, Mario1.gif and Mario1m.gif and then when you open them these all look like demo because you know it's in ASMBXT but um, it'll be the exact same for Mario what I'm doing here all, all I would do or well if, if you want to do this what you could do is just um, make this whole thing black and then make this whole thing white and then do files save as and save them where your level is. Pretty much all I did was save both of these where my level is. And now, if I reload this, then, well, it might not show up here, but when this actually happens, as you can see, you cannot see demo because I changed the changed the graphics. So it just looks like it's scrolling on its own. Um, that's something you could do. Or I guess what you could also do if you, like, that might be easier or not. I guess it's more of a preference thing is you could also um, make her graphics invisible and then just do auto scroll. That would actually, actually that would probably be a better idea because like as you can see when I start out here, there's a bit of delay because you know, she's on the left part of the screen and then she's walking and, and you know, the screen doesn't scroll for a bit. And so you might want to include auto scroll as well if, if you know, if you want to make it real smooth and stuff.
How did I do that? Well, basically, I did the exact same thing as I did last time. Actually, that's pretty much exactly what I did. Except, um, you know, demos, graphics are invisible, so you can't, you know, see or walk in. Um, and I have these two Goombas. And then I put, um, warps to these other rooms that are exactly the same as each other, except they just display the different messages. So, um, yeah, I could really see some creative potential with cutscenes and, and whatnot. Um, and yeah, I hope this answered the dude's question thing request. Um, but if not, just let me know and I'll, I'll be more than happy to make another video on this. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Ho oh, oh. ho!